Today we're going to calculate the uh, cracked inertia and then we'll use that uh, for amplifying the moments when, when we find out the peak critical. So just for today we're just going to do I cracked, so it's uh, static moments. Uh, here's the equation here, we have area of the masonry above the neutral axis, that's uh, 390 times C times uh, this distance half of C over 2, C squared over 2, plus the uh, transformed area, and I worked out the modulus, the, the, the end value, which is the modular ratio, is 31.3, so the transformed area of the steel is uh, 30,300. times its distance to the neutral axis, which is going to be C minus 95. And then below the neutral axis we have the transformed area of tension steel, which is 31,300 times D, and D is going to be 390 minus 95. is a 295 minus C. So distance from here to here is this distance, 295 minus this distance. That gives us this distance. And then we could uh, set this into uh, the uh, solver and solve for C. So library solve Uh, 390 times 0.5 times C squared 30300 zero, zero. C minus 95 and then bring this over the other side minus and set that whole thing equal to uh, y and y will be equal to zero to solve for c here's the y in numerical mode I think it just solved it zero solve c is 137.11 so c equals Thirty-seven point one millimeters, and now we could uh, find the inertia of the section. So that'd be uh, one twelve the base times the height cubed, and the the height cubed is one thirty-seven point one c for this uh, area here. Plus it's eighty squared, which is three ninety times one thirty-seven point one times 137.1 over 2 squared plus the 80 squared of the compression steel times its d squared which is uh, 137.1 minus 95 squared. This distance here is equal to C minus 95, so C minus 95, and then uh, plus the 80 squared of the tension steel, transform tension steel, that's 31,300 times uh, D, 390 minus 95, which is uh, 295 minus C to give us uh, this distance here and squared uh, C is, an, is a 
area of steel, 30,300. So the I is 1.17 e to 9. This is I cracked. I'll put it uh, here. So I cracked is uh, 1.17 e to the 9. 1.17 times 10 to the 9 millimeters to the 4. And the EM I crack is equal to 850 times 7.5 is EM, so that's 6380 times the I crack, 1.17 times 10 to the 9 millimeters to the 4. 6380 times answer 7.46 e to the 12. Newton millimeter square. And the um, oh, one last thing I want to calculate is just the uh, EK value, which is the uh, the point at which you put up uh, a, a point load which will uh, the axial load and any any point where you put the axial load which will just cause the uh, the extreme fibers to go into uh, zero tension so that's uh, the answer to that is EK is uh, SE over AE and uh, when we do this we could we could ignore the the steel um, so that we could just take the section itself so the section modules of the full section uncracked would be uh, base times the height squared over 6. Divided by the base times the height. So if we if we cancel terms we're going to get uh, h over 6 to simplify it. And uh, the height is 390 over 6 so that comes up to be 65 millimeters so if the if the true eccentricity on the section is is greater than 3 times this then uh, we just need to put the uh, EMI cracked into the into the buckling formula and we'll find that out uh, in the next tutorial so then the next one we'll we'll calculate uh, p critical based on the EI uh, cracked, and then amplify the factored moment, and then just check to see if the moment resistance is less is higher than the uh, factored uh, moment. So we'll leave it uh, as that for today, and, and we'll continue uh, on on tomorrow then, so for Friday.